Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, let me press this. So I believe it starts in 10 minutes. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not wrong because so many times uh, previously I've made a mistake and everyone's been like, um, I think it's an hour early and then it's really embarrassing because I have to like come back in an hour's time. <laughs> um, I, th I think I'm right though. And it's Idea Factory, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So. I don't know if people have an idea of what sort of, um, what do you call it? What games are likely to be announced and all of that. I have games that I wish and hope are going to be announced, but, um, you know, you never know. Oh, it seems like people are joining. I've got a bit of a cold still, so I may be coughing and sneezing. It kind of sucks because I was ill for like a week. And then finally, when I start recovering, obviously my lungs are like, on recovery mode and still coughing but then at the same time now it's pollen season so like the two combine it's like oh my god hey everyone welcome thank you for coming by have you got like any games that you want to be you want localized <laughs> i think a lot of people want 9rip that's why i used it as my thumbnail <laughs> Oh god, I always feel nervous because like the number of viewers I get whenever I do these watch streams is a lot higher than usual. So I get like a little bit nervous like oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know Idea Factor was announcing a new game. Oh okay, so this must be uh, kind of exciting then. I hope, I hope I've got- well, Welcome! How have you been? Hi Libertina! Oh my nose is being annoying again. Stupid, stupid cold. Hi, Kate. Welcome. I'm really hoping for 9 RIP. If not, Jackal or Naira. Those two are the ones that I'm very much hoping for. So. I think it's only one Otome they're announcing, though. Hi Raggedy, welcome! I think it would be more exciting if it was like three, if you know what I mean, but I'm not gonna be greedy. Hi Belly, welcome! Yeah, you're wishing 9RIP as well? Yeah, I feel, I feel like it's the game everyone's hoping for because last time during uh, the access stream everyone was like expecting 9 RIP and then and then they got something else and so everyone was like getting annoyed with it and oh my god it was just like so much drama for no reason I mostly play in Japanese now so don't know why I'm excited I am no welcome I think you're excited maybe because like all the other Tommy fans are like eee! and also it means you'll have more people you can talk to about it random idea factory announcement I know, I know, right? Hi, Shadow. I don't know the name of the game you just said, but isn't that one 18 plus? So, Jako no Rai, that is, like, I wouldn't say it's 18 plus because you don't really see that much nudity. Um, but there is a Switch version where they've, like, made the topless guys have clothes on and stuff. And I'm like, damn it. I'm just <laughs> Hi, Sakura doll, welcome. You're, hope, you're so hoping for 9RP, yeah. Hi, Marianne. Maybe they saw the last stream and thought they were leaving money on the table. <laughs> it could be that they... It could be... Excuse my nose. It could be that Axis um, didn't localise 9RP because Idea Factory had already gotten the rights for it. You never know. I'm really hoping because Idea Factory's uh, limited editions are so good. I'd be regret it'd be great if Jacko and Lila get to localize too. I want Lizaru. <laughs> he is cute. Oh, let me move. 
my dog has accompanied me at the uh, bottom of my chair, which is hilarious because he has a bed right there and he only sometimes uses it. I hope I don't miss it. I'm always paranoid that I'm going to miss the actual, uh, actual, um, stream. And the, which is why I'm always like, guys, make sure you've got another tab open so that you can watch the actual stream as well, just in case. <laughs> Excuse my cold. Hi, Kennedy, welcome. And also, if there's a limited edition, I'm like, what kind of limited edition is it going to be? Because Sympathy Kiss one was pretty strong in that there were a lot of usable uh, objects. You must know how hyped everyone is for it. Maybe there'll be three different limited editions like Simkiss. Oh God, I don't know if I'd want that or not because they always like, there'll be something in one of them that isn't in another and oh. Hi oldies, welcome. Hi Claggy. Oh, oh, is it starting? Is it now starting? Oh, okay. For a second I was like, oh yeah, it is. Okay, I don't want to miss it because that would be really bad. This is live, right? Early bird technology autonomy has been born. This is the one. Here in Rogers County, too. Uh, let's see. I hope you guys can hear it. Maybe it's it's quite on low on my one. Um... I think we should be calling in a little bit. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Can people hello, hear? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? We're just starting a few minutes early here, so right at nine we can. Do let me know if you if it's like low about. volume yes. or I want to make sure. How is everybody doing? Oh God, what was it? I've seen a lot there? of uh, items being placed in our, our summoning circle. Thank you for oh, that. Oh yeah. I think I think we've summoned a game. Okay, good. And you can hear. Great. In a couple minutes, we'll see. Oh. Again. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited. Good morning. Hi, Mango. Hi, Claggy. Yeah. Hi, not me, me. We live. Yeah. Oh, we got some first time chatters. Yeah. So what's up, y'all? What's up, Brawler? I see you. <laughs> oh. I see you. Got the red. Hi, Bobby. Wonder Fortune. Too. Oh, it would be interesting if they uh, localized that. Cookie crumbs. I saw you just follow Cookie crumbs. Use my cough. Callie, I don't know. What's up? We'll find out in, in a couple minutes here. Okay, Wonderland. Great background they have. <laughs> yeah. Refined Noble. Okay, let me. Name. Refined Noble. Bean Queenie. What's up with that? It's Max. How Noble. are you today, Bruce? I'm chilling. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Having a fine morning. Yeah, like I said, got I got woke up. coffee. At... Yeah, we got this coffee. This is a bit, I'm like, Cheers. oh, what, what is it? The, the anticipation. Uh, I woke up at like 4 a.m. today. <laughs> And yeah, the announcement is uh, for yeah, translation. The of, a, of a new Otomi announcement got me going. That's one of the reasons I was hoping mm -hmm. ID Factory to look because awake I needed it. Imagine if yeah. there's nine RIP and there's no limited edition. It would be kind um, of like, I'm not going to lie, a, a little bit tragic. I don't know what it is. We are uh, because the art is so pretty. Uh, our next Otome, there's going to be one announcement. One single um, announcement. Okay, so it's one and Otome you know, game. There, there's a lot of guesses out there. So if it's not the game you want, you never know. There might be more cooking in the oven so. yeah yeah totally there's always something happening over yeah. at ifi and there's definitely stuff happening that hi cloudy that welcome you might even hear about later in the year maybe hi in camellia hi ada in, uh, some kind of summer festival that's yeah. going on later in the year too so mm -hmm. a lot of stuff happening so if today it's not that particular title you were waiting for it's all right yeah we got more down the pipeline coming. So there's so. gonna be more to me. <laughs> Why it. am I so greedy? I used to be happy with just well, like one. Now I'm like so five. Ready to, to do this <laughs> thing? I guess. Question. Yeah. Question for the chat. Question. Have you ever been like stressed out? <laughs> probably right. Yeah, that's stressed out. out. I think it's everyone's like, no, being stressed out. No, that's not at all. I think Have some ever, people don't even realize they're stressed out. You ever gone through a time where you got a lot of anxiety? You know, maybe. 
Be it no. school, maybe it's work. Okay, I, I, I feel like here. I feel like questions about the future. And this question wanna, has something to do with the game. You just want to go somewhere else and not be And here, uh, I know which you know? one it is. Well, what if you could do that? What if you could just go somewhere else, somewhere different? How about that? How's that sound? <laughs> Raggedy, somewhere I think so they're different. hinting at it. They're, they're hinting. It may not even be. Hmm. <laughs> it may not even be. Let's. See. It may, may not even be in this plane laggy. of existence in this realm. Let's see it. Our I know, right, Kelty? I'm like, let's do it. Everybody, here we go. Moment of truth. Yes, this night is uh, I only needed to hear that very beginning. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I've only played one route, but I don't care. I'm so excited for Hibiki. He looks so depressing, and that's exactly what I like in a character. Oh, no, the legend boys. Like the the hell ones, I think. And these are the yokai. The one on the right reminds me of Chaffee. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! Now I need to know what's in the limited editions already. Hello everyone. Yes. That's right. Yes. yes. Nine R I P <laughs> is coming. I'm so Nintendo excited. Nintendo Switch in 2024 this year. How's it going, everyone? How was that? How was that? Trailer? How was that <laughs> trailer? What did y'all think? Wait, did they say it's going to come they out this year? They spirited away in the world of Nine R I P. We can finally say it. Yeah. It's been. It's we've been. been, been we planning this. We've been so antsy about this one. It's so yeah. hard not to talk about this one, and we've been. It's been looming over our heads for a bit, so That's we're nuts. finally able to tell you all that. If there is a route with a mean guy, oh, the United States, I don't think I've, I'm not sure. I haven't played. I've only played one route so far. How's everybody feeling about it? I'm happy, but my bank account is not same. How about that trailer? Yeah, that trailer was great. The one with the noose is my favorite. So honestly, I'm looking forward to this route. It's gonna be so angsty. You have witnessed the end. The artwork is the same person as um, Keeper Parasite, by the way. Keeper Parasite and Cafe Enchante and the Someone flower game that's coming uh, out sometime. Other people mentioning an LE. You, yeah. They might want an LE of this game. I think we can tell you right now that Are these the same right people who did yes, Keeper Parasite? Yes. At least the artwork is. I'm and not sure. I don't know right about now, the actual like director, the writer, all of that. But We haven't revealed the items yet. Fatty, welcome. I know. I was like, I was thinking it would be at, um, from so the various sure hits. At uh, <laughs> ifi.store. I just posted the link in chat. Let me post it again because the chat's moving kind of kind of fast. Does 9RP have any um, undertones? There is one that I suspect is wallet. based on the right. facial expression. <laughs> right. We've been planning this LE2. We've been talking about the items that we're going to put in it, and I'm pretty excited for it. It's going to yeah. be. Ooh, thank you for the detail, Fatty. And we've done, in my opinion, some cool, some cool LEs. And I think this one. Uh, and hi to all those that I did not special. manage to so, say hi so to because I was distracted yeah. by the yeah. um, the pretty for pictures. For a couple people joining us maybe a little late, <laughs> what if we ran the trailer one more time? Yeah, let's run it back. How about that? Uh, let's just run it back. Let's run the trailer uh, again. I, I think oh god, it is too. I was back. thinking that. I'm going right, to have to go through again? Hibiki here we go, here we go, here we go. By the way, for those the scaredy cats out there, the two school routes... Oh, what's going on? Oh, is it a repeat? So, um, 
What was I saying again? Oh yeah, the two roots, the horror roots are, I'm not gonna lie, if you're a wuss like me, they were like jump scary moments. So bear that in mind, because I was, I am a wuss by the way, but every time, yeah, I'm not gonna go into detail because spoilers, but there were moments where I was like, Where is my descendant and my nephew and I need one. your nephew and you? <laughs> I love that. Had I known there was going to be an announcement, I'd gotten up soon. Oh no, living. Well, at least you, at least you got up in time to know what it is, you know. Thankfully, I love horror and Otome, so this is fun. I cannot deal with jump scares. So I'm not gonna lie; I'm a little bit worried about Hibiki when I play him, but I'll get through it. <laughs> Oh my god, my nose. You like jump scares, Raggedy? It's the oldies, so there's eight roots. Two of them may be a little too scary for your nephew because they are like jumpy bits. Um, so. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. How was that? Again. Round two of nine. RIP announcement trailer. Uh, that's fun. That's a fun trailer. Music is yeah. great. Art is on point. Mm -hmm. We got dope looking characters. I'm excited to see what all of they have all of them have to offer yeah. actually. Yeah. This is a particularly interesting approach to the Otome genre. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of over high school hybrid, hybrid. Mm -hmm. you know, so, I think only two um, roots not, are truly you know, like high school based super, so uh, intense kind of horror that two some of the roots are horror based in North America might be used to right but it's oh, definitely more sake. on the spooky side sure, yeah. and if you're a fan of the supernatural then and you haven't tried an Otome game before this might be the okay. one for you yeah um, we had a lot of Ooh, guesses for that, this one um, based on our teaser I hope oh, you yeah. all enjoyed that video. Shout out to Bruce for, all for editing you. that. Um, yeah, that was fun. I'm glad y'all had fun with it. I saw a lot of good, good guesses there. Yeah. People were breaking down the, the lore for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, it seems like y'all are having fun with this one, and I think you'll really enjoy this title. Yeah. Um, I think I guess... a, another interesting thing about this game, right, is yeah. that a lot of these characters are tied to different settings, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, depending on the route and character that you go towards, you might end up in an entire Maybe. different setting mm -hmm. and different storyline completely uh, separate from each other, right? So yeah. um, there is a whole different experience here that's waiting a lot of Otomi regulars. So if you're yeah. part of the Armada and you've played all these games or you've been sniffing around no, the Japanese version and seeing what this has to offer, then I hope you waited and didn't import it and are trying to... Live, it's not a US no like, it should be it should be EU as well. Wait for our well. localization of it and you get to experience it the meant it was the way it was meant to be. Let me see has no jump scares. Website specifically. Oh okay, so Hibiki's route doesn't have the jump scares the that the, the poster boy like has yeah. because that was uh, I guess kind not of realms that there's the the ghost uh school ghost stories uh, there's the urban legend. Mango Mute. Okay, so you can always avoid the route that has the jumpy bit. Uh, with different different guys, and there's eight eight romanceable characters. Yes. Oh, how are you enjoying Tengoku Struggle, Oldies? Eight romanceable characters. You know, you got uh, uh -huh. a lot of variety here. Oh, you can see in the key art. But that's they're not been showing an EU release date. Moment. It's probably yeah. going to be the same so, time. It usually uh, is. A lot, lot to unpack for this one for sure. So Yeah, some really uh, nice art in this game in general. Um, if you, you know Cupid Parasite, uh, Yuya. Saying that, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yuya, the character artist from Cupid Parasite, returned oh, for realized. a nine RIP. So some familiar uh, art style here, and oh, it's, yeah. it's really gorgeous. So. It. Yeah, I think in particular, if you've played Cupid Parasite, or if mm. you're awaiting the release of Sweet and Spicy Darling, the fan yeah. disc, if you compare these art styles, they're drastically different, right? Yeah. Like, this is the more, uh, this color palette. I won't go into CGs uh, very, because... Uh, uh, Idea Factory and Axis have a little like, bit of a history uh, of spoiling like things in, in the CD. Like so to come, in. Come check I don't avoid those tabs. I want to play this game. It just feels like a. Uh, Hi, Zolta. Welcome. That, uh, it's a, le a little bit more left field. I've been competing this game with Norn 9 the whole time. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I really love the color. Someone mentioned the, uh, the color. Hey, Maka. 
kind of more cool in this game. Yeah, I love all the the yeah. purples yeah, it's and the eight blues roots. and the reds. Totally. Like it, it looks it looks really nice. Yeah, Cupid Parasite is definitely brighter, 100%. Mm -hmm. Day yeah. one edition. Maybe Any okay, news is this on the Cupid Parasite decided? fan disc pre that, That's what t TBD Actually, means, right? Soon? Yeah. I was looking, yeah, hoping have, that the uh, limited edition would already be, yeah, right? you know, yeah. Actually, like we'd know within, what was in it, but within, some within a couple of days, yeah, maybe within a couple of days. Day. Yeah, you will have Stay tuned. <laughs> a good news very soon. Yes, and, and the pre-order date is not far away. Yeah. But we will give you a little bit of time to prepare. Uh, for the pre-order but i love it how north america is the only so one that gets standard yeah. edition oh, Stay tuned we britain I'm so glad british excited people for that too, but eu yeah. people bring it back have to pay like to, a little bit extra for the day one edition just uh, just putting it out yeah. there <laughs> yeah the art style is wild so it's it's easy to go off on something like cupid parasite too yeah. but which you know, oh there are nine oh yeah because uh, there's like oh yeah i forgot for some reason i was like eight roots yeah sure Sorry, yeah, thank you for correcting me, Fertie. Uh, Fertie is the uh, 9 RIP expert at the moment. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Carla wants some eyes on that. Uh, that'll be, again, we don't have a pre order date just yet, but um, very soon we'll be I want to know what's so on the limited. Yeah. Some, I mean, the some cover nice art extra stuff cute. alongside that, uh, the, that news as well. So. I kind of want it, even some, though I've already cool, got the Japanese don't think we copy. I'm going Parasite because 9 RIP. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we got we got some nice stuff. I'm gonna be so broke. Too. I haven't yeah. even bought Speaking Tengu's of Struggle or Pimpadikas. Not to uh, mention Kibada. Ju on July 6th, oh yeah, we do have our take, take your time. They're not going up, anywhere. Spoiled Sandy. Don't worry. The yeah. tickets are almost gone. They're yeah. free. The release date in November, isn't it? Tickets left. Oh yeah, probably. And so if you are in town and you're able to join us, there will be a nice if it's like in August because in Japan, August is when all the creepy stuff happens. Related experiences happen at that event. and August. If you are excited about the announcement and you want a little bit more up close and personal uh, stuff, you know you can come check out our event and see what we got to offer as re related to yeah. non-rip stuff. So, uh, someone asked, any more announcements soon? So, no more announcements today. Today we're just uh, just announcing Nine RIP um, that that is happening and it's coming out this year, and we have an LE. Um, but you know, stay tuned for the future. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, what we'll announce. There's always stuff cooking. Like I said earlier so yeah, yeah and at that event there's going to be several announcements too so and i feel like you know, the more we talk about atomic for, games the, the more they're the going year, to uh, localize no, them no, that's not it that's not all <laughs> yeah. we we got other stuff happening too yeah so. that's right brawler you got ice cream also <laughs> can't forget the free, free ice cream <laughs> I know what um, you're going for when we there. I really need to do an Otome we game. Have a question, I have so, Zelena, so many new things. Can we get things. the trailer played one like, and start last time? Oh, yeah. All right. That's you know probably it. a good idea, though. Let's Very unrealistic. Let's play the trailer one more time. <laughs> let's go. All right. Let's go. That, is that okay with everyone? Let's play this trailer. It really round is. Round three. One more time. Round three. Here we go. Here we go. So non-Otome. These, these are non-Otome announcements, I guess. Which I'm curious about as well. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're going through it again, guys. Going through the uh, announcement again. <laughs> One last time, I think. Zolta, tell me about it. Every time I'm like trying to guess what it says. <laughs> it was a very good announcement. I'm glad. Are we going to be getting a review soon? I've only played one route. I'm currently working on the Tengoku Struggle review. So, there are a couple of reviews I need to do. Tengoku Struggle review, Taisho Arisu review, um, and then Cupid Parasite FD review. The thing is, I'm trying to, uh, because I'm doing my, I'm writing my book at the moment, I'm on a, like, a break, you know, as, so I'm not really making as many videos as I used to. Um, I also need to stream an Otome game, so I may be back to streaming on here or on Twitch on Wednesdays, maybe? I'm not entirely sure yet. Everyone's gonna be fed up of the trailer by the time it's the end of this stream. <laughs> Can't wait for the technical show review. I want to hear your thoughts on it. I'll need to uh, read a little bit of what happened in three of the routes because it's been like a year since I played those. But once I recap the plot, I'll be like, okay, I just need to refresh my mind a little bit. Hi, Essa. Welcome. Yeah, you missed the 9RIP announcement. Round three <laughs> of the 9RIP trailer. That's a fun one. Um, yeah. Does anyone already have? 
have have a guy that they might be might be interested in checking out in, in this game? I have one. Hibiki is yeah, the one I'm boy. most interested in. I'm leaning towards Hibiki. Hibiki? Hands okay. Down. He looks a little bit soft-spoken, but yeah. also like, like uh, somebody hurt him or something. So mm. I think I can fix him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I could fix. I, I could fix you, Beaky. What, what y'all think? Are y'all on board with that? Sorry about my really annoying nose. The hay fever yet? is driving me nuts. Come on, we could fix that, fool. I only just joined. Glad so they're repeating it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's probably um, why they keep on. Oh, <laughs> I was that's playing like the no idea opening hours. song yesterday. Also, oh, you were like right, manifesting like it, Asia. Okay, some more. Yeah, like, but I don't think they did like the same set a date. The new C guy <laughs> is called Hibiki. People walking in the office. So <laughs> He's like waving at you. You like the Ayanda looking one? Annoying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to his Hibiki's route the most. Yeah, he's I'm praying they by. do Kamigami no uh, Asobi. Oh, I haven't actually a played that it's, game. Uh, or was he anyways? I'm not sure about uh, it. Maybe I think yeah, I can he's, fix he's going down the hall. If you caught that little. Oh gosh, you're still suffering from your man flu. Yes, yes, I am. Koharu. 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 I need oh, a yeah. tough looking cutie pie. Sure. <laughs> Eva, okay. you make me laugh. <laughs> nice. Senna's really oh, Of pretty. course, you like long hair, don't you, Mokka? Yeah, that, that Senna is definitely one that is like. That one caught my eye for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's. I guess we should the, say we don't, we don't the really want to talk Hibiki too much about the story. Yeah. Yeah. The one the I'm looking forward to most. Tome, you know, the story followed really by the, the one that reminds we me of Chappie. So. We don't really really want to get too much in the story, but like I said, if you want to learn a little bit more, check out the official website. Hi, Tashi, welcome. In, that does have some some details. Yeah, the trailer um, is up on YouTube now too. If you want to rewatch, you want to do a, a third encore of yeah, the trailer. Yeah, the trailer. Uh, you can go check out our YouTube channel. The, all of our trailers are on our YouTube channel. Yeah. They're usually up. If anytime we show a trailer on Let's stream for an announcement, browse. it's almost immediately up on YouTube. So yeah. if you want to. Go check it out afterwards you yeah. can but i think this will also be up on social media in 15 14 minutes or so but we wanted to give you all the first sometimes first the you game. know yeah thanks for joining us for these announcements that... it's been really fun i think it's always nice when the people who care about this stuff show up and enjoy what we got to offer them so really appreciate y'all yeah. hopping in here and getting some nice otome action with us yeah we like really appreciate the enthusiasm yeah and it's, totally. it's also just it like it really making sure i'm paying attention um, since it looks like they're finishing the stream and um i i hope you've enjoyed how <laughs> this announcement has gone yeah i i definitely <laughs> unlike the was, uh one, one that, one that we all don't things, speak of or i've been anticipating this one for a minute so for yeah. me it was really exciting to finally see you click the button <laughs> and go Live on that and seeing everybody yeah. say finally and it was definitely shaking before. Price of copies of coming in and also be on saying really. I, know that it's, uh, I haven't actually close looked to the into prices Japanese for release, which is some games. Nice I kind when, of like you know we can try to get it as close stopped, as possible. Uh, it's not always possible, I haven't been buying so, many Japanese games. Um, I'm on a bit of a like as you can expect, otome game cleanse uh, in that I'm trying to be good. And thank you for um subscribing and Jim's world Sunday. Some of the items maybe you know you can. Some stuff you could be excited for later on. So, uh, same Otome historical Otome games are brilliant. The, so I love learning and learning. Words, oh. I shall not repeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I hope uh, we learn. We learned, you know. <laughs> we, learn, we learn good. Hopefully, we uh, we switched up the VHS effect a little bit next this time around. So, mm -hmm. we hope uh, hope it came through. PTSD, pretty uh -huh. much. Uh -huh. <laughs> It was just melting down. Are they talking about the. All right, well, I think, yes. um, I think that's. Uh, if anyone has any questions, again, we don't want to get into. Too much story of the story stuff. Story stuff yeah. um, next week, we are going to have our just chatting stream, and we will have a member of the local team on. So And then after this, um, I'll go through the um, website a little bit. Note that. Yeah, he's, I think he heavily the, worked the, on this title. They and tend he's actually to been. He's been a guest really quick, on our. A, um, a translation before, so he's been I found so that often when they put it up on the website really the English can to, be a little bit so if you have a uh, little bit weird if you're interested in learning more that about doesn't the game necessarily from reflect the on the game on it, I have found out through my experience on stream, so. we'll be talking a little bit about the game not always not anyway. too spoilery mm -hmm. so don't come in asking some questions about you know who the secret route is or how to get secret there route. or, or <laughs> You know that none of that kind of talk. You know, so there's definitely only eight routes. There's only eight only routes. Only eight. 
there cannot there's no be such another thing. One. Yeah. Um, but, um, so, um, that will be at yeah, 4, 4 p.m. PM. Normally yeah. we are just chatting at 9, but our guest is in Japan, so exactly. due to the time difference, we don't want him having to be up at like 1 a.m. doing a stream yeah. with us, so we're going to do it at 4 p.m. So he'll be tubed in um, from, yeah. from Japan. Yeah, so. Pacific Daylight Time. We're in Pacific Daylight Time mm -hmm. now? Okay. PDT. Yeah. PDT. I am, I am super Wednesday. excited. So 4 p.m. Yeah, next Wednesday. Wednesday we'll More be people to hype about it with. Stream with Alex Childs from yeah. the but it, it, the thing is, it does dictate what games I play. Like, I mean, I will play Uchronia next. I promise myself that I'll play that you want to get your near wish release uh, so but yeah, everything else is pretty much now. like i'm playing nine rip with not eight routes getting like legit. Legit. Yep. So, but at least <laughs> this one right. i really like I don't know. how many characters are in that key art <laughs> hmm. Hmm. all right yeah it's only one or something game this it. time oldies is that it uh, do we want to, I think i'm ready to play more time before we go i guess we can run it one more time a fourth time dang y'all are wild is that is that are we, is that something we're I'll play to do it, Patsy. I will. I even made a. Oh, I dang. even made a like yes. a forum dang. on my um, on my nine server times? so we can talk about it. That's crazy. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I felt like a loser though because I posted it and forgot that it's not on public, and then no one reacted to like my message or anything, and I was like, oh, no one wants to play with me, and I felt oh, yeah. really sad, All but right, it was just that I hadn't put it on public. <laughs> Okay, okay. I think we've we've seen this trailer enough. We don't need to see it again. Okay. Otherwise, it will drive me a bit nuts. So we're not, we're not gonna see it again. <laughs> Hi, Hika. Welcome. Yeah, nine RP is released. I'm not even sad. It's only one announcement because I'm. I know, right? I'm so excited. So let's go through this. I'm I'm expecting the uh, English to be a bit weird. Usually it is. <laughs> Hi, Cloudy. So let's see what the story says. They say this town has always been known to have many people be spirited away. They also say that confused people or those struggling are more likely to get spirited away. You think you'll be okay? <laughs> this is what I mean by the English is a little bit weird, typically. <laughs> In the beginning of autumn, during a second year of high school, that's what Misa Ishiki was told by her best friend, causing her heart to skip a beat. I'll be fine. I don't really believe in any of that stuff anyway. That's right. She doesn't believe in that kind of thing. It's just her life had been filled with so much stress, all related to what her future would hold. That's when an eerie voice reached out to her. Why don't we take a look and see what you should do with your life? I'm the one who will lead you into the darkness. And that's when all the strange things around Misa began to happen. <laughs> so that's kind of, um, excuse my nose. So annoying. Four times the charm. <laughs> I know, right? Not the trail again. I was like, okay, we're, we're stopping it. With Tengoku Struggle going on is so for my fave. I've done Kiku and Yon so far. Loving the game. Oh, that's really good. I've been waiting for it since it was announced. It's the same. Like, I bought it, don't get me wrong. But obviously, it's more fun when I've got more people to play it with. It's so exciting. So, world setting. So, this is kind of where it tells us how horror-esque or romantic the um, stories are. So you've got the school ghost stories, which has a horror rating of three, which is the max, and then romance of one. So not very romantic, but extremely scary. <laughs> but apparently Hibiki isn't too bad in the jump scare element. Uh, the heroine finds herself inexplicably, in, 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 inexplicably trapped at Narimigahama High School. The school is bathed in an unusual red light, unlike its normal appearance. Wandering within are the terrifying ghosts known as the seven wonders the heroine soon what realizes these beings are not to be feared but are actually kind-hearted ghosts struggling with their own lingering regrets with their help will the heroine be able to return to her world so that's the because it, it basically branches into these four different like roots essentially <laughs> and 
Zolta, really? You got an email months ago. When it hits 2025, still a tier list of the best year of the time. I can't even remember, though. <laughs> That's the thing. I can't remember what was released when. I guess I'd have to do, like, a little bit of research. Good idea, though. Now, we've got Urban Legends, which is one horror to romance. Upon waking one morning, the heroine finds herself to be a ghost. <laughs> I love how that starts. <laughs> With no memory of the events leading up to her death, she soon falls into despair, but is saved by a pair of Nariminahama famous urban legends. From them, she learns that in order to cross over to the next world, she must confront her lingering regrets in this world or be doomed to roam the earth as a restless spirit. With the help of these two urban legends, the heroine will search for the truth behind who or what was behind her untimely death. I wonder if she can, she like, she comes back to life or whether she's just like, she's dead dead. Like, that's it. That's the end. Hmm. Interesting. The third one is Other Realm. So clearly this is the most romantic route. So I'm like, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think one of the characters is voiced by Okamoto Nobuhiko, which is the one that voiced Yang. So I think quite a few people are excited about that. Are you thinking of the JP release, Salter? Yeah, that was in June, I believe. Upon waking up, the heroine finds herself inexplicably on a moving train. When the train stops, she finds she has been taken to the infamous Kisaragi station. From there, she steps into a hellish world inhabited by the dead and strange demonic creatures. Then, just as she's about to fall prey to the clutches of a ravenous demon, she is saved by a man who claims to be Hell's gar Grand Warder. Caught between these two diametrically opposed forces, will the heroine be able to find her way home? Huh. I wonder how she ends up on a moving train. I, I guess it is the spirited away thing, isn't it? I got to this website through, um, what do you call it, uh, through the stream. Let me, oh. let me put it here. There we go. That's the link. Um, so I guess she gets spirited away and then is on a train and I feel like it's like the train that takes you to the dead land, um, or hell in this case. That's pretty creepy. I'm interested that this one's got the max romance level though. In January, February of this year, so they leaked it that early? Huh. That's weird. I'm surprised it didn't get mentioned at all on Twitter or anything like that. The fourth is Spirit World. It has zero horror. So if you're, you know, a bit scared, then this one really works for you. And Romance is too. So not like high, but not low either. As the heroine is getting ready to leave school, strange phenomena begin occurring all around her. Terrified, she rushes out of the school and heads to a nearby shrine. There, the priest performs an exorcism, exorcism ritual for her. Just as she feels relief that the phenomena have left, she begins seeing a bizarre figure dressed in traditional Japanese attire. Thanks to the exorcism, it seems she has gained the ability to see spirits who begin following her around. What unfolds in is a lively and entertaining romantic comedy, but who will she choose? So... I guess the spirit world is quite different compared to the others. The others seem very, like, angsty or, like, scary. But this one, it sounds like it's just, like, a happy, yay kind of route. <laughs> Hi, Fancy. Welcome. Yeah, we're just going through the website now. The train thing is a Japanese urban legend. Kisaragi Station is a famous story that came from a Reddit-like place. Fun fact. <laughs> Actually, you really do like this game, don't you? <laughs> It's like the um, yokai that appear in the spirit world as well. You've got Kokuri-san, which is like a, a spirit, a um, fox spirit you call from the other world to ask questions. It's like the Japanese equivalent of Ouija board. And Zashiki Warashi is like 
the Japanese equivalent of a brownie. So like a fairy, or in this case, your guy that helps you uh, keep the house clean, basically. <laughs> I wish I had a zashiki manashi in my house. That would be nice. Everyone wants one. Oh, what am I doing? So that's the world settings. Let's quickly go through the characters. Love that there are so many different types of routes. I know, right? It means like the common route isn't going to be too boring because once th I get bored of common routes very quickly. Okay, let's go to Kudaha. So this is the route that I've already done a playthrough of and kind of put all the videos on YouTube. I'll probably leave them up there um, because, well, it took me effort. Which reminds me, I should do a Japanese on-the-spot translation stream again soon. I'm thinking of doing Tokejikake no Apocalypse because I don't think it'll ever get localized. I could do with a spirit who keeps my house tidy. I know, right? Yeah, that's the thing. The repeating events is what drives me crazy usually. So this is a bloodthirsty killer karakara sank. Regardless of the main place we're living, we should go home as soon as possible. So his personality is contrary to the frightful rumours about him. Kudepaha is actually quite gentle. He is sincere and straightforward. Yet he has slightly quirky and airheaded side to him as well. He appears drawn to the heroine and yet... And then it has like what who, who the blood stir, uh, thirsty killer karakara sang is i'm sorry i have to add sun to the end because it's just it's just his name in my mind <laughs> um and the rumor is that they say that when the walls of the school are stained the color of blood from the setting sun he lurks if as you walk the halls you hear the sound of iron being dragged on the ground behind you don't turn around, because if you do, Karakara will ask you a question, give the wrong answer or stay silent and you'll be killed. So remember that guys, if you're ever in school after it's sunset and you hear some dodgy metal sounds behind you, make sure to do your absolute best to answer that question correctly. <laughs> Unless the character's cute, in which case you get to be with them forever, so... <laughs> Okay, I won't go through all of them because then you can like have a look on your own as well. But let me go through the two school ones. Actually, we still got a little bit of time. I'm just also thinking about my nose being a, an absolute nightmare. Okay, so this is the character I'm most looking forward to. He's called Hibiki, Grasp of the Mirror. personality. Though normally afraid of interacting with others, when it comes to the heroine, he is cheerful and eager to talk. That said, he has a slightly gloomy side as well, so he's like really depressing and a bit, a bit dodgy really. Um. <laughs> There's a really funny anime based on Kokkuri-san called Gugure Kokkuri-san, which a young girl with no emotions summons Kokkuri, and she only eats ramen and has no... That's kind of adorable. That is actually kind of adorable. <laughs> Why does this feel like Spirit Away but Otome? Yeah, I can see what you mean. I guess it's because it is about being spirited away. So, rumor. And these are like the reasons why I am terrified of mirrors no matter what game I'm playing. The moment there's a mirror, I'm like, I don't want to walk past it because I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I know, right? I think, like, the third, I mean, the fourth branch looks like it'll be quite goofy and, like, cute. So, the rumour. Between the first and second floors of the school's central staircase, there's a mirror hanging on the wall. Never touch that mirror. If you do, the ghost inside will drag you in and take you to another world. And the... Huh? Sorry, I just thought I heard something. Um... So, 
Yeah, creepy. And like I said, this is exactly the reason why I find uh find mirrors scary. Ooh, who's this? She's cute. Okay, this is the last one I'm gonna read because my nose is being ridiculous. I don't know if you could hear me talk, just like I just sound ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so happy this is being localized though. I'm in such a good mood. By the way, you don't need to address me formally. It will become it will be easy to become friends if we're casual. She's so pretty. Her personality is a ghost encountered across a few routes and storylines. Slightly older than the heroine, she often acts overly familiarly overly familiar with those around her. her. I see, so she's older. I guess because of the cutesy style, I kind of thought she was younger than the main character. Oh, I really liked Yui in the route I played. That's the sister, that's the mum, that's her best friend. Don't know who the priest is. I'm guessing he appears in the, uh, the, um, yokai route. This is the one that, um, I think a lot of people are looking forward to because he's voiced by the same person that voiced Yang. That's scary, you heard something? Is it he? <laughs> you mean could I have fancy? <laughs> oh my, you scared me, Panda. <laughs> if the ghost is hot, he can spirit me up. I love that. Hi, Tiafodu. Okay, you missed you missed it, but you'll be glad to hear that, well, maybe glad to hear, I'm assuming that because literally everyone seems to be, uh, 9 RIP is getting a localization and it's going to be released in this year, so very, very exciting. Yeah, this is Oka, uh, voiced by Okamoto Nobuhiko, he looks dodgy, but I don't know what he's like, let's see. I love it how I'm like, okay, this is gonna be the last one. I'm just too excited, you know? <laughs> Prone to intense emotions, he often acts impulsively, driven exclusively by emotion and is known to trick others by playing off their emotions. His goal is to form a pact with the heron so he can consume a soul. He deeply despises Seiya. Seiya is, uh, where is, where is he? Is this the, the other character in this route? So he's an incubus, ooh, interesting. A creature that haunts human dreams and shows them nightmares. While there are various theories on how to counter them, the general consensus is that one must have a strong will to fight them off. I see. Cool. They are all really pretty though. Okay, since my nose seems to be getting worse and worse as time goes by, <laughs> I think think I shall end the stream here. Now let me check on something. It's really annoying the fact that my nose is so like congested. <laughs> but um Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for coming along. It was lots of fun. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this stream and video. Um, I do stream on Twitch as well, which I think I've put in the link below, description below. Um, and I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So feel free to come along if you want to just kind of hang out with me. Uh, that would be cool. I'd love that. Um, but again, Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and hopefully I will see you again. Bye.